and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are on week nine of our 12 weeks of handmade Christmas. Lots of ideas for you um, to make all sorts of things as a handmade Christmas. And this week it is all about table favours. So when we're laying the table at Christmas time, it's quite nice to have little place settings with um, with just a little treat or a little something in there. So these are very simple, very easy. They also work any other time of the year as well. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, if you want something for Thanksgiving, um, we don't do Thanksgiving in the UK, but I know we do it in, uh, um, in America. So if you want to do it um, Thanksgiving, you can do it for that or any other the party or thing that you want to do so quick simple easy six by six paper I've just chosen some these are all retired ones as you know because I'm using up all my old scraps I thought I'd use this lovely sort of yellowy golden jumpery warm pattern and you are literally just going to fold it corner to corner so as accurately as you can but doesn't matter if it's not completely, completely accurate. But as I say, it is so simple. So designer series paper, I never uh, burnish it because you can um, tear some of the fibres on it. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to take one end and you are going to... So if we turn it around this way, so we've got the... Um, it's like a scarf. We are going to take one end and we are going to fold it over... So it goes literally corner to corner on here. So you can try and get it as sort of wide as you can, but you want this point to touch down here. Now, it doesn't really matter if it comes up here or it comes down a bit, as long as I would say try and get it halfway across is probably the best way to do it. And then all you're going to do is to fold that down flat. Okay. And then you're going to take the other side and you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to fold this across again, right the way up to that edge there. And this one, as I say, it's, it's coming up a little bit wider, which is fine. So we can take this on. You want to have it so that it's coming you can see the distance is the same. So let's just put it across like that. Okay, now you can see that this is coming too far out. Doesn't really matter, you can cut those pieces off or you can do it. So let's try and do it so it doesn't come across as much. Um, so I'm gonna take it a little bit further up this time. But as I say, it doesn't matter one way or the other because you don't have to. So this time I'm taking it just a little bit further up. So it's about, that's halfway, it's just over halfway on there. And then this one on here can come over on this piece. And again, just fold it down. And you can see this time, there's no bit to fold out on there. Then all you're going to do is to take one of the top pieces and just fold it down in on the middle like that. Okay, so it's very, very easy. We're going to put some glue along this piece. So we just want a bit of glue in on here. And then I'm just going to fold that in because that will then help to just attach it in on here like that and then you've got a nice little pocket and you can put whatever you want in there um, I've chosen I've been getting some bits ready for Christmas so I've just got some chocolate coins and um, you can get some quite nice big chocolate coins now so I'm trying to get find the hole in here um, I quite like the large size ones so you can take a large one and you can take a small one if you want to and put them in like that so then they just sit in 
like that. And the reason I've done that is because these chocolate coins are a bit smaller than I'd use. So by putting a little one down at the bottom, it means I can get the other one to come up in on that way. Okay, so it just sticks out a little bit like that. Okay, and then we just need to decorate it with something. So I'll show you one that I did earlier on so that you can make it out of any one that you want. Um, if you don't want to put chocolate coins in, you can put anything you want that's sort of flat. Um, you could even put a gift card if you wanted. But obviously it's for a placemat, so the easiest thing is to just put something that's just a little bit of a treat. So um, maybe chocolate mints, um, maybe, um, you know, little biscuits, um, just a little, little treat of some sort that is going to come down, um, you know, on the Christmas table for somebody um, like that. So as I say, you can just have it at the Christmas table um, with their names. Now, this one I'm going to... What have I done? We were making bits for tags and things and I had some over. So, you know, make yourself something pretty. I've got this one, a very Merry Christmas to you. And it happens to match the paper on there. So what I do is I just put a little one like that on there. And then that just finishes it beautifully on there. This one, you could take um, a bit of ribbon or a bit of twine. Um, again, you could put something on there. If you didn't want to make it overly fancy in there, then I would just take, says me, what have I just done with my ribbon? I had some ribbon here a moment ago. Is it over here or have I put it back? I think I might have put it back be quite extraordinary because I very rarely put things back um okay so yes I've got some ribbon here which is some of the metallic ribbon so um I could put just on here a nice bit of ribbon to go across on here and in fact I think that will work let me just get some glue there we go. I've still got a little bit of my fast fuse. As I say, this Christmas is very much using up what I've got. I've got so much. It is, um, it's crazy sometimes. So this is going to be, um, let's take, we want to do it on the ribbon itself, don't we? So I'm just going to see if I can, oops. So I'm just running some glue along this ribbon so that it'll just stick down a little bit for me. Oops, that's twisted around a bit, that'll do. Um, so I'm just going to put this round here. Like that. And then we can take it round on there. And just take it down like that. Don't know quite how much glue I've got in on here, so hopefully there's enough to just go round on the corner like this. And then I need to make it meet up in the center. So let me just get a little piece like this to just cut it down, and then I am going to. So we need a little bit of glue in on here and it might might just fray a bit but in fact I would probably not use fast food fuse it's a bit um, there we go it's a bit too uh, um, over you know overly um, sticky you don't need anything that's too sticky so you've got a little piece like that on there and then you could always put um i'm going to use this on on one that we're doing at another time but a good thing that you could do is to use the alphabet and then just put the person's initial in a little circle so whatever their initial is or if they've got a very short name, you could put a short name on there and then have that as their placemat. So it just gives you a very, very, very simple 
um, but looks very pretty, you know, lovely on the table. Um, lovely if you're, you know, wanting to do like a little bowl um, of little treats and things for people. But as I say, on the Christmas table, I think it's always nice to have something like that. I tend to um, stand them up just against the wine glass um, on the table. So, uh, um, you know, it just looks pretty. So very simple idea. That's your first one. Come back for another two. And again, they are simple. They're easy. They're quick to do. Um, so they're not spending too much time for you. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.